Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with a kind of ridiculous haul. It's been a while since I've been shopping. I haven't really been in the stores. That right, you know, if you're not new to my channel, you know like I am a, like a Walgreens junkie. Um, Sally's and I hadn't been to either store in quite a seems like forever. So I had to go to Sally's first because I needed to get some more of the um, Gigi Hard Wax. Um, I've which I need to do a follow up video on that waxing system and everything that I purchased because I have I used it for a little bit, kind of stopped, and then I went back to using it, and um, I. Mm, just had a brain fart yeah so but anyway I went back to using it and pretty much use it um, more so for waxing my underarms and um, yeah sadly I get those unsightly hairs on my chin and plucking was just oh it was just way too much waste of time just time consuming um, so I just started waxing my chin area and here where I get those unsightly hairs. So, yeah, it's part of life, sadly. But, yeah, so I've been using that and I ran, was really, really low on wax. So I needed to get some more. So I had to go to Sally's um, because, well, the other store that I've discovered that I can get it from, I'm not sure if it's cheaper than Sally's, but they have the strangest hours and was closed on the day that I was trying to get some. So I have Sally's and Walgreens. And my reason for going to Walgreens was because Shea Moisture um, was buy one, get one free this week up until, well, today is and sadly the last day. Um, by the time this goes up, it'll be over. But... Uh, my friend did tell me that by the, by the time you see this, it will be buy one, get one free at CVS the week of, let's see, what's today? 30th. So from the 31st through what, June 6th, CVS will have safe, all Shea Moisture products, buy one, get one free. Um, so let me just get into the haul before this becomes insanely long because I've got a lot of quite a bit of stuff here. So from Sally's, I also picked up in addition to the um um into the wax, uh, which I left another thing. I bought some aloe vera gel, soothing gel, um along with the wax and I took that out the bag I think but anyway I bought these um, silk elements um, pure oils and the reason why I have bought these is because I have been reading this book about um, all the different oils and things and how they benefit you your body in terms of you know skincare nails and hair care stuff like that and um, at some point, I want to kind of concoct my own mixture of oil of, to make my own cuticle oil just to see so I can get, like, absolute benefits. And from this book that I read, I have been reading, the oils that they mentioned were really great, especially in terms of being carrier oils because they're highly absorbent. Um, I believe... I'm not sure if the avocado one was a carrier oil, oil, but the benefits are really, really good. I'll look that up and put the information down below. So what I purchased was one fluid ounce of the avocado oil. And then also the sweet almond oil, which this one I do know for sure is um, considered a carrier oil, which means that it's a great base because it's highly absorbent. Um, jojoba oil also is um, a carrier oil. And then the last one that I purchased is pure olive oil. Um, and the olive oil says rich in multitasking antioxidants including vitamins A and E to hydrate, nourish, dry hair, soothing, dry hair, scalp, and skin. The avocado is a nutrient-rich oil that contains a blend of fatty acid and antioxidants that soothe, soften, and hydrate scalp, skin, and hair. 
sweet almond is a multitasking oil containing vitamins E and B and minerals that help soften, smooth, and control frizz. And then lastly, the jojoba is a versatile oil that provides essential moisture that softens and hydrates, leaving skin and hair smooth and lustrous. So I bought those four. And then the... Mm, other stuff, yeah, I left the other thing at, in my other room, my nail room. Um, this one is the GG All Purpose Hard Wax. The other wax that I've been using, I don't think it was All Purpose. I think it was the Brazilian wax. It might have been. I'd have, I don't know, let me see here. Did I get the All Purpose or the Brazilian? Um, yeah, I've got the Brazilian Body Heart Wax um, previously, which probably isn't much of a difference, but um, since it is a different type of hair, you know, in terms of what's growing on your face versus what's growing in the bikini area, I did want to try the all-purpose one to see if it would be a, any different, but um, and it is, again, the Heart Wax. So it comes in a container like this. This one I think was 12 or 11 something depending upon what level of the beauty cart you have. I think regular is like 14 or 13 something like that. But this one is 14 ounces um, for the GG All Purpose Wax. And then again like I said I also purchased the um, um, CNE soothing, um, oh, for the love of God, aloe vera. And then I also purchased this um, Design and oh, Design Essentials has a new line of natural hair care, a new natural hair care line, and it's the coconut and manoe um, line. And they have a curl refresher spray, so I wanted to pick that up because um since I've been wearing my hair curly or since I've cut it especially you know on some days like I don't want to add too much more product just in terms of build up and when I saw they just have a spray that will refresh your curls I wanted to definitely try that so let me grab that because I definitely want to show you that because the packaging is completely different from the normal design essentials natural line so I'll be right back Okay, so this is the Design Essentials Natural Coconut and Manoe Coconut Water Curl Refresher with Sunflower, Milk Protein, and Chamomile. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's in a completely different um, package labeling. It's the white label. Um, and it says Deep penetration, Penetrating Daily Moisture Blend Tames Friends and Revitalizes Curls for dull, dry, thirsty hair. So, um, hair isn't necessarily dull or dry, but I just wanted to um, do something where that's a little bit more lightweight on my hair instead of adding more product. So after shampoo and conditioner, towel blot, dry hair and spray, coconut water curl refresher, liberally throughout, work through hair from roots to tips to evenly distribute for dry hair, mist lightly and gently reform curls or twists as necessary for a thicker or coarse hair follow with coconut and manoe deep moisture milk cream for an additional layer of moisture and protection i didn't purchase the um cream but i may go back and try that but i do have again like i said this haul um it's mainly like a bunch of shea moisture products because they were buy one get one free and i felt like you know i do i have been using um, I bought their little starter kit um, when I first started transitioning and I really like the results that I get from that product. So um, I just figured just keep with something that I know works instead of going out and repurp buying all of this other stuff that you hear about on YouTube. Um, so I won't need no hair care products for quite a while. but. Um, Hopefully, I'll be able to stick to not buying anything. But this is the Design Essentials Original Natural um, 
packaging. It has the DE in green, like this olive green lettering with natural and white, whereas um, the regular Design Essentials has it in like this purplish burgundy lettering. So this is the original Design Essentials packaging for permed and relaxed hair, permed and natural, but this one is strictly for you know, natural, I guess you could use it on perm. You can use it on perm hair, but again, this is their natural line. And this is the packaging with the green lettering. Um, and it says natural right under there. And then this is the new coconut and Minoy line. They're both from for natural hair. But just so you know, if you are looking for it, the coconut Minoy is in a different packaging than the normal natural line and they have a, quite a big range of products in this line um, I don't know everything that's in there right now but um, you can always go to design essentials and if you sign up for their on their site you get email alerts with different deals and sales that they have going on and that's how I originally purchased um, the this line here the regular line was because it was like a Black Friday deal where you got like a whole set of um, their products for a really good price it was like $35 for like six different things so yeah and then this so while I was up I just figured I'd just go ahead and grab this this is the clean and easy soothing aloe vera gel um, which um, is really great for like after you wax um, and then also I got badly sunburnt. I don't know how well. Yeah, I look like um like the TV show The V. Like I'm about to turn into something. That's and it's on both shoulders. So I wanted to get something aloe vera is supposed to really help with that. But anyway, so that was everything from Sally's. I didn't get a whole lot. I didn't even get any nail polish from Sally's. So pat myself on the back. But I did get nail polish from Walgreens so let me go through that next bag so um, from Walgreens I bought the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution this is the detoxify and energize with ginger and clay so um, they had like three different ones one was lavender for relaxing and then the other one I forget what the other one was but it's um, this one comes in a three pound bag again Dr. Teal's and I went to a couple different Walgreens just because they didn't have all of the um, stuff that I was looking for oh and I did find damn it I keep leaving stuff um, the Dr. Teal's was $6.99 and I did, let me go grab a couple other things. Ugh. Okay, so I also purchased these two. I saw these. They were kind of randomly thrown in a display. There were no other colors. These were the only two. They're limited edition. Um, and they say it on the package. But um, this is what the packaging looks like. Again, I haven't been really in Walgreens. I haven't heard anything about it. And sadly... I didn't realize these were like eight seventy nine. The drugstore is getting pricey. Those this one is number eight hundred. Strike a rose. This is kind of like a shimmery. Oh, that looks really nice. Like a shimmery kind of patchy, kind of peachy, kind of coppery color. Um, and then this one is true form that kind of nudie color that I've been looking for this one is purposeful mauve number 805 and this is what that one looks like kind of looks like touchable taupe I think this is just a little more pink so that is this right there and has no real scent it's a very subtle scent Okay, so that's the only lip products that I got. Lord knows I don't need to buy no more lip products or nail polish. But, you know, these were all on clearance for like $1.50. So this is the Maybelline Color Show in Coral Crush. And it has the label right over 
and this that will stick right over top of that. And then most of these are Maybelline Color Show. This is Deep in Violet. Again, all these were like a dollar fifty. Got way too much stuff. Um, this one was a Revlon one. Smoky Canvas is just like this really kind of khaki tan color. One seven eleven. And then this one was not on clearance. I bought some of the new Wet n Wild Mega Last um, polishes. This one is just their top coat. And these are, it's called Clear the Air. And this one is just in the silver packaging. It's $2.99. And then the other one I bought from that collection is Sky Me Mine. This nice sky blue, baby blue color. Again, Sky Me Mine. These names. And then I think, yeah, and I bought the kind of peachy orange, kind of honeydew kind of color, Sun Settle Down. This S U N is for sun. And then, which this looks just like it, Maybelline Color, color Show Pretty in Peach. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention. These are practically the same. Don't you hate when you do that? Because I think I picked up the clearance ones first. And then this one is this nice kind of um, bronzy gold called Dust of Bronze. And this is what it looks like. And then... The last few, this one is like a, kind of like milk chocolate or hot cocoa color taupe on trend. And this is what it looks like. This is number 051. And then um, the sinful shine or sinful colors is an opalescent. And it looks different here. Like it looks more, I guess in the light, it's called Sheer Flight. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, you can see the green and the kind of blues. Looks like one of those China Glaze and the New Bar ones that I have. And then this Orly Color Blast. This was from, I think, the Cinderella movie, I think. And this one is called Coronation Ball. It's very pretty and sparkly. And I picked up another one, a little two piece set, like I think a little bit ago. But yeah, it's in the other room and I'm not getting back up again. So <laughs> sorry. Okay, so for the hair products, I went a little overboard, I know, but. Um, when you find something that works and it's on sale, I just wanted to be able to kind of stock up so I wouldn't run out and then kind of need to go back and buy it at full price. Because we all know, even though Shea Moisture is a little bit more reasonably priced, they, you know, they're like $10.99, $11.99, depending upon which particular product um, you get. So I brought products from three different lines of Shea Moisture. Um, the Jamaican black castor oil which I also have um, a couple other things from their line I have the um, shampoo that I had already purchased and I already purchased the um, growth strength and growth growth and restore treatment mask I didn't buy this one this time it was I bought this the last time I think they were buy one get one free so this is the mask I bought the mask and the shampoo and then what I recently purchased was the um, leave-in conditioner from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line, which I've heard a lot of people, um, a couple of people tell me that Jamaican Black Castor Oil is really good for your hair um, when you're natural. So this is the leave-in conditioner um, and it is 16 ounces. The treatment mask is 12 ounces and um, 
And then I also purchased the um, styling lotion and this line also has shea butter, of course, peppermint and keratin. So and this is the styling lotion for the Jamaican black castor oil line. So, and then um, for specifically for the curly hair products, um, it's the coconut and hibiscus line, which is in that kind of melon colored packaging. So I bought several items from that. So um, I bought the coconut and hibiscus co-wash conditioning cleanser with silk protein and neem oil. It's anti-frizz, moisture, and shine. Um, and it's sulfate free and this is the co-washing conditioner and I bought multiples of those because I figured that would be the thing that I would be using the most of because with my hair um, my hair is fairly fine and um, even with my when I had, was relaxed product certain products built up and that was other part of the other issue in terms of finding something that moisturized my hair well but didn't weigh it down so I figure if I over you know with the product styling products that I would be you know washing it a little bit more and co-washing you know I wanted to stock up on that in terms of times where I didn't need to do a real like thorough cleansing with regular shampoo so I bought one two I think I got four of the co-washing conditioners so here I've got three right here, but I think I do have another bag. And then I purchased the Curl and Shine conditioner from the the this line, and I love that it has the pump, which I wish all of them were in pump style bottles. It just is a lot more convenient and easier to get the product out and less messy in terms of you having product on your hand and re-squeezing it out and getting it all over the bottle. And this is 13 fluid ounces and the condition the co-wash is eight fluid ounces yeah if you've seen my cabinet space and then i also bought wanted to try this i don't I, the only nine curl stuff like body care and skin care that i use from um shea moisture is the black soap and the um that black soap line i have the um the scrub the moisturizer the mask and they do have a toner now which i've been trying out for um just recently um but i wanted to try the um firming and toning body butter it's gluten free with vitamin e with gluten free vitamin e and it's also from the coconut hibiscus line um they do have other body care products like scrubs and um oils and body wash but in terms of the, other than the face soap um that was the main thing that really interested me that i wanted to try and see how it worked and so the next bag like i said yeah i bought four of these the co-wash because i figured i would use that the most um and then the curl the frizz free curl mousse also from the coconut hibiscus line um i mean i, I do have like a, the design essentials mousse but sometimes like i generally like to buy um use products like together within their line because i find that they generally work better for me when i use one product line all those products because they're made to work together so I mean, I didn't have to, but again, that's what I how I like to use it. And then, so I also bought the Curl and Shine shampoo, which I have like a mini, um, a mini bottle. But it was just weird that they're different colors. This one is a lot more darker colored. Hmm. Could be just because I've had this for a while. So this is the Curl and Shine Shampoo, also from the Coconut Hibiscus line. And then the last thing from that line I got is the um, Curl and Style Milk, which I'm glad I did pick this up because I'm almost out of the little sample size that came in the little kit, which was about this little four ounce one. So I've got the complete, pretty much the complete line 
for that. I think there was something else that I didn't get from um, the line. And then I also wanted to try the Super Fruit Complex line by Shea Moisture as well. It's a 10 in 1 renewal system with marula oil and biotin. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. Hold on. Sorry, I need to have to monitor this length of my clips because they're become very difficult to upload um, from the iMovie app. You can do increments of like 15 minutes and then after that you got to start really doing a lot of editing to shorten it and it's a hassle. So um, I did purchase the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System with, Renew with Marula Oil and Biotin. This is the hair mask. This one is 12 fluid ounces. And this smells really, really good. And then I also bought the um, conditioner that goes with it. The shampoo. And then I also bought the um, hair and scalp serum. And that's two fluid ounces for the serum, the shampoo, and the conditioner are both 13 fluid ounces and again all Shea Moisture products regardless if it was oh I forgot I had that on my hand regardless if it was face body or hair care everything is buy one get one free or was buy one get one free um and they also now have a kids line and I actually just I was following them um oh the Premier Beauty Expo thing was in Orlando this weekend. Um, Shea Moisture um, actually has a professional beauty hair care line out now. So, very nice. So, obviously, they're doing really great. And then the last thing that I bought, which uh, is Pantene Curl Perfection Frizz Calming Complex, is their uh, moisturizing shampoo. So, it's 24 hour defined curls. This is 12.6 fluid ounces, and I want to say this was like $4 and some change. And it comes in this packaging. And the reason I purchased this was because um, while I was on the cruise, because the decision to actually go ahead and do the big chop was kind of a last minute decision. I had did all my packing um, Thursday, all, you know, beauty and everything was already packed. Thursday night and then Saturday I mean sorry Friday when I went to my hair appointment prior to leaving is when I finally decided that I was going to just go ahead and have her do the big chop and I had so many things that I had to do for the rest of that day um I had to what else get an oil change after my hair appointment I had to drop my car off at my husband so he can get a detail job so I can keep get it detailed then I had to meet the furniture people and do my nails which I only got to do my hands and not my feet mm. and so there was so much that I had to do and trying to finish that last little bit of packing to get the hair care products that I needed to take with me I forgot to take both of um, the hair my curling curl defining stuff like I have the Shea Moisture Gel Souffle stuff. And then the actual, um, the gel smoothie, the smoothie and the souffle, gel souffle stuff. And then the Design Essentials, I also have their curling custard. And I forgot to pack those. So the only thing I had with me for curling was the Style Milk and the hold and shine spray from Shea Moisture and I did pack this which actually worked pretty well on its own you know without any other stock curling products so I ended up we ended up going to the Walmart while we were down in New Orleans and um, my sister had mentioned that there are curl defining shampoos and conditioners that I could buy and so I, the Walmart that we went to didn't have a lot of Shea Moisture or a big selection of products that I 
was familiar with or the brand that she mentioned um the coconuts something i forget what it's called but they didn't have those and the only thing that i really saw was um the pantene curl perfection moisturizing conditioner now i already had um some shampoo and conditioner like i just took the design essentials um from their regular which is for relaxed or natural hair i took the oat and henna um shampoo and conditioner because one there wasn't a whole lot left in the in the bottle so i just figured i'd just go ahead and use those up and then i used the design essentials mousse with the shea moisture styling milk i know i just said that i prefer to use the same line but i would have had product from the same line had i remembered to pack the design essentials curling custard stuff because i was just planning on taking the one line but somehow i didn't so anyhow i ended up picking up this curl perfection um moisturizing conditioner and i must say the curl definition that I got with this was absolutely amazing and I ended up just like I didn't even rinse this out I ended up leaving it in my hair because one we were on a cruise so I knew I was going to be swimming especially on this one whereas the last one I did I only got in the water I think like one day one of the cruise one because my brother and um, was getting married and we you know knew we were going to be in pictures and stuff so I, I didn't want to mess up my hair so I didn't get in the water until after that occurred but anyway so since I knew I was going to be getting in the water pretty much every day um I knew I was going to eventually rinse it wash it out at the end of the day so this worked really 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 well and my curls were really nice and defined and what I did was put this in and then followed it with the um curly enhancing mousse and i got really great results um doing that i mean in the pinch it's not that you you don't necessarily have to use the same line but generally what i like to do is stick within like the same line because i know they work well together so i did want to try the curl perfection shampoo to see if I would get any better definition and just see how that works since I already had the conditioner which I should have bought another conditioner just because I know I like the results from this um, and again this was like four something also and they're both this one's 12 ounces this is 12.6 fluid ounces so and the fact that it's moisturizing shampoo and conditioner and curl perfection so um, definitely be letting you know my thoughts and how I feel each of these different product lines work for my hair um, and how, if I don't like them I don't I mean again I haven't tried this shampoo but I do know that this conditioner really does work like I said I put this on every day like in the morning like when I took my shower I would just wash my hair in the shower um, put the conditioner on and then the mousse and then go about our day and then after I swam when we got back I would then take another shower wash my hair again and then um, put more of this and the definer the mousse in my hair um, and it worked really well it didn't seem like my hair was any drier than it would be especially considering I was getting in like salt water so I knew my hair would be dry after that but I felt like I mean that conditioner really really helped with defining my curls and um, everything so yeah that's it god I can't believe how long this took and I can't believe how much stuff I actually purchased um, from the Shea Moisture line but I do really really like the product and I must say I kind of feel like in terms of the curling um, definition that I like the results from the Shea Moisture better than when I just used the Design Essentials curly products. Like I used their um, honey curly, the honey custard, curl defining custard with the mousse. And um, the results weren't as good as when I used the Shea Moisture curling like gel stuff 
gel souffle stuff with the other products from the hibiscus coconut line so coconut hibiscus line so I don't know let me know what you think um, let me know if you've tried any of these products what you think about them are there any tips or tricks you might have in terms of using them um, any other I guess maybe product suggestions I don't know how obviously I don't think I'll be buying any new products hair care products anytime soon because I have way too much now although I do feel like now that my hair is shorter I will actually probably go through hair care products much much quicker than what I would before because before when my hair was relaxed I was I go um bi-weekly hair appointments and I wasn't always washing my hair on and conditioning my hair on the weeks that I didn't have my hair appointment but now that my hair is short and it's much more manageable and I don't have to worry so much about the tangling I feel like I will be much more on top of con washing, conditioning, and deep conditioning my hair on a more consistent basis. Plus, with product, since I will be using way more product in terms of more in terms of what I used to use when my hair was relaxed, I know that I will need to wash my hair more frequently than what I was when I was relaxed because I was doing very minimal. Um, minimal styling or anything to my hair so I know that my hair does kind of get weighed down fairly easily so um, I will be actually doing um, more washing of my hair now so I feel like I will actually go through this much quicker than I would because I've had to design essentials stuff for like over I think like two almost two years and I still have a good portion of it left so so yeah I will take you on my hair care journey let me know if you definitely if you would like to see um, like a series about my hair care journey um, incorporated into my channel um, you know just in terms of products I'm using how I'm styling my hair what I'm doing you know if I choose a different style I don't know if you want to see like a demo of like my routine like wash and go routine or deep condition or what just let me know what type of videos if you want me to include hair care into my channel um, I was thinking about doing that especially considering the setup that I currently have makes it a lot easier because in my dressing area there is actually a sink here that would allow me to actually do um, those type of videos and actually be able to set up and record myself doing it because in the other place there was just not enough room at the kitchen the bath at the sink or the kitchen counter to be able to film without having to have like my husband holding the camera or something like that so just to end this because I'm rambling um, again leave your comments down below any questions let me know if you've tried these products what your results were any tips or tricks any hair care tips or tricks you know things like that if you want me to incorporate more hair care videos into my channel let me know and what type of videos you want to see and yeah thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day bye